If you have a small team of say 5, 10 or 15 people, difficult team members can really, really complicate your life. This video is about how to best handle difficult members of your team. Hey, my name is Armin L. Rao. I'm the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur, and I am changing founders into leaders. This video is about handling or managing difficult team members and how you best deal with this situation. So please watch the video until the end so that you get all the important tips on how to deal with difficult team members. Now, difficult team members, that is a real issue, especially in small teams. I was once uh, the managing director of a small company and we had 15 people. Two to three of them were extremely difficult to handle because they just could not stand the stress of a startup. They started complaining, bickering about and also working against me and um, I didn't really know <clears throat> how to handle it uh, those days. On the other hand, I also made very good um, experience with a direct confrontation of difficult team members with uh, the situation and I have a few tips for you on how to handle this and how I finally managed to get out of this situation. First of all, what is a difficult team member? A difficult team member, in my opinion, is somebody who, for example, <clears throat> does not follow common company rules, like, for example, starting times in the enterprise, um, engagement <clears throat> in uh, the role, um, then the behavior, especially with colleagues and uh, the superiors or people in their team. So that might be a behavior that is, for example, has a lack of uh, displays, a lack of respect or <clears throat> people who uh, know everything better, <clears throat> who, never, uh, who, who never want to um, admit that uh, there might be better solutions than theirs and who would, for example, have uh, endless discussions with you on certain topics. I actually had a team member many, many years ago who would always be right and who would have, um, well, endless discussions with other team members and that didn't really make, that didn't really, you know, deliver progress and it made the life in the team very, very difficult. The first thing that is very important is to confront the person with the situation and you don't do this first of all you do this in a personal in a personal conversation but you don't do it in a way um, that you immediately say listen other team members are not happy with your behavior you don't do it that way what you would do you would actually say in terms of your uh, performance in the organization uh, how do you feel and then you would get an answer and then you could ask, okay, and how about your social competencies? How do you see the interaction with your superior, uh, your colleagues, the clients and so on? What is your view on that? You would get again a feedback. Now, if normally the person whom you're speaking to sees everything very, very positive, and then you can say, well, <clears throat> listen, I haven't received feedback that is quite as positive as yours and people who spoke with me or also the impression that I'm getting personally uh, tells me the following. First of all, uh, you, are, you are difficult to work with. Secondly, <clears throat> you are almost every day uh, late at work. We can see this here. And number three is <clears throat> you are, in, in several cases, you try to, to uh, embellish your results. So we have to work on that. Then you will again get a res uh, then you will again get a reaction, maybe justifications, maybe excuses, and so on. You will then be very clear and say, <clears throat> "That's all well and good. That is my perception. That is the perception of many team members. And what I can offer you is that we both together we work on this." Mm. What you then do, uh, you get the commitment of your team member to work on this. Um, with a common approach together to work on it together and you craft an agreement and that agreement has 
uh, four major parts. The first one is you have a clear and measurable objective. One or two or at most three yeah, objectives. Then you create an action plan to reach these objectives to improve. It's m m most of the time it's, it's actually social behavior. Difficult people have social behavior. You also have performance problems. Um, this is might be another another uh, situation where you where your uh, team member needs help and um, these objectives must be measurable <clears throat> number two you have a clear action plan as i said where it is well defined who does what by when first of all your team member also you maybe other people uh, that have to be involved in that situation and the next important part is that you define the consequences. <clears throat> the consequences in a positive way, what happens if the objectives are met and what happens if they are not met. And uh, I did this many, many years ago with a difficult employee who was actually from an intellectual and from a performance point of view, my best, my best team member and uh, a person who had tremendous cha <coughs> challenges as far as his social emotional intelligence was concerned so we did this i also said clearly as a negative consequence if it doesn't change by then uh, i'm afraid i will have to fire you and uh, we actually acted with this level of clarity now that is a an approach that i'd like to recommend to you uh, so that you can manage difficult team members better please go for these conversations as fast as you can don't postpone them it's what i always call a moment of truth you must not miss it i missed it several times in another adventure that i had and i never really got the the situation under control so you have to address it very very soon i know it's not the nicest thing to do it's not the situations and the conversations that you would dream about but it is a part of your entrepreneurial life and you have to address it the sooner the better the life program actually teaches you all the tips tricks and tools of successful entrepreneurial leadership within weeks if you would like to have a chat with me on how to improve your leadership how to run your company better how to make it more successful and have less sleepless nights feel free to apply for a session with me by clicking on the link underneath this video alternatively send me a whatsapp the number is on the screen right now and we will have a conversation the conversation is not salesy at all what you will get out of this conversation is a plan on how you get from a to b from your current challenge to where you for example want your company to be in one year and this will mean for you that you will much more be in control of your company of your team and of your destiny and that will make you successful this was armin l rao from a leonard rao the entrepreneur's entrepreneur and don't forget lead yourself